the campaign? How's, how's the mood ahead of this final game of the campaign? Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, the results haven't went our way um, recently, but we're, we're wanting to to finish it strong at least and and get positive results. What gives you confidence that you can pull off a, a big result this weekend? I think we've shown that we, we can compete. Obviously, the results haven't went our way, but the game at home against Netherlands, obviously, I wasn't there, but I thought we played really well and were pretty unlucky to be honest. Obviously, uh, it's a difficult week for, for the manager. He's somebody who put a huge amount of faith in you and bringing you into the squad. How would you sum up the part that Stephen Kennedy's played in your career? Massive part. Um, he's he's obviously called me in, um, gave him gave him a debut, and and also he's he's called me up when probably other managers wouldn't. I've I've not been playing as much as I, I'd like to, but he, he showed a lot of faith in me, and uh, um, I just want to repay him. What's he like on the on the day to day? A great guy. I mean, all, all the lads love him. I think a lot of the nation love him as well. Um, and he gives everything in his job, and and, and we, we're trying to, to get results from him. And it obviously hasn't went our way, but we, we'd love to try and keep him here. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. I'm Mikey Ashing from Off the Ball. Overall, how have you found your time with Ireland since he came in? Good. Um, it's been a positive start. It's, obviously, it's only the start. I've I've only played six games, but. Um, and I've only had one start, but I think it started well. Um, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of praise from from various places, and I just want to keep that going and and hopefully, just you know keep playing well. You mentioned not playing as much as you'd like. Celtic, it's very competitive. Is it frustrating not to get more game time? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think like no player's going to be happy when when they're not playing. Um, ultimately, I think it's up to me. Like. I need to try and force my way into that team. I've obviously got until January to do that. Um, and I'll, I'll try and give it everything to, to do that, but we'll just have to see what happens. Have you spoke to Brendan Rodgers about it much? Not, not much in the last sort of month. We, we had a little, little chat. Um, we've had chats here and there, but like it's, it's, it's tough decisions for the manager to make. And again, as I say, ultimately it's up to me. And watching Neil Scales and what he's done, being on the outside now, Pretty much one of the, the starting places. It's pretty positive to see that happening. Yeah, my mate, it's good. It's good to see him obviously playing and, and doing so well. Like I'm, I'm so happy for him. Um, and the, it can be done, of course. Like he, he thought he was out the door, and now he's back playing, and he's a regular in the team now. So it can definitely be done. Are we? Yeah. 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 Was he playing? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Just wondering how much you remember of it. Uh, I think we got beat. No, you won. Oh, we won 2 0. 2 1. I remember that game. Fraser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fraser Hornby scored two. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, much, man. I don't know even what age I was. 17, 16 or 17 or something. Was it? Uh, not much, to be fair. I don't know if I gave him a hard time. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I, I can't remember much of it, mate, to be honest. Uh, do, do you remember much of it when you played against these players when you were back? Like, bits and pieces, but I mean, it's been, what, as you say, five, six years now, and it was at youth level, so it's, it's completely different. Paul? Oh. Uh, Mike, sorry, just, you, you were talking there about not having much game time, and it's just been yeah, I'd, I'd think so. Obviously, I want to be involved in the Ireland camp. I want to be. I want to be playing for Ireland. And realistically, if I'm not playing, I, I won't be getting picked unless. Again, I go out and do really well, but it's, it makes it a lot harder. I'm definitely going to have to either force a way into the team or, or maybe we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen in January, but I, I, do, I do want to play. And if it came down to it, would you consider going abroad again? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say anything bad about Celtic. I, I would, I'd love for it to happen at Celtic. Like, I'd love for me to play. But, I mean, I'm, I'm 24 now as well, and I, I want to play every game. Just finally, you spoke there about Stephen showing maybe faith in you that other managers might be considering you know, playing as often as you'd like club football. What is it you offer Stephen that he, that he likes so much? Do you feel? Um, I think I just offer something different. 
to the team, to be honest. Obviously, my 1v1 ability and, and able to sort of make things happen that maybe other players couldn't. Um, but, I mean, it's it, it's tough to say. It's, it's the manager makes the decision to, to bring me in. and Obviously, I need to try and repay him and show what I can do on the pitch. Ed? Like, uh, the manager is right now for <clears throat> having a big club of, of wing, wing play and wingers. Obviously, um, you fall into that category. So, so, what sort of confidence does that give you coming to a camp like this, knowing that you know you're a history of a player and there's a very good chance you 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 know get enjoy some time on the pitch and some some, chance, some time to press. Yeah, I mean, I hope I, I hope I get some game time here. I'd I'd love to. Um, but again, it, it does help when, when the manager obviously has shown faith in me and he's, he's gave me a lot of confidence to, to go out and, and play the way that I want to do it and yeah, I want to do that again. And then just in terms of being back at the club, you're the type of player who, who we've seen comes off the bench and can change again and can create a spark, bring a bit of magic to, it, to, 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 a, to a game. Does that help when you're struggling at the club that you know that if, if you do get a chance, it's a chance to make an immediate impact for the team? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, if I can make an impact at international level, then I should be able to do that at club level. Um, as you say, it's, it's, it's a big stage, and obviously, if I can show that, then all, all the better. David? Yeah, kind of pushing into the hot there, but I'll talk about that for a long time. It's kind of failing that already is as if you've been through quite a lot in your career and you can get to the um, Maybe, I mean, I'd, I'd like to have done a lot more at, at this stage of my career. Obviously, I had a sort of maybe 18 months of quite bad injuries um, but I seem to have overcame that now and and I'm playing but um, I'd, I'd have liked to have done a lot more in my career by now to be honest. Is that because maybe the, kind of the expectation you would have on yourself at that point or maybe you had a bit of Both, both, I mean it comes a bit hand in hand like obviously people have expected me to do more and I, and I expect more from myself but I mean there's been a lot of factors in, to why I haven't done that. Um, Injury's probably been the main one. Because and then on the injury thing, we were just chatting with Jamie and put a different perspective, but obviously he would have gone to the Super League, for example, and then managed to find some more maybe in the squads mm -hmm. and maybe have that kind of perseverance that went through it. You kinda of probably need a kind of different type of perseverance when you have to get all those injuries and get that trust back in your body again and then. Yeah, the, uh, what you said at the end there's is right. I didn't have a lot of trust in my body at one stage I was afraid of getting injured all the time and stuff happening but as, as I say I've seen uh, come over that. I had obviously an injury at the, at the start of the year but it was sort of a freak one and maybe 18 months before that I was fine, like no injury so I'm, I'm confident again. Does that get back to you? I don't know if that's why you're either not able to do what you want to do with football or sort of football as well. Yeah, well, obviously what you do on the pitch on the pitch affects your life like massively. Every footballer will tell you that. And, it's it's hard to be happy when you're when you're not doing what you love. Aiden, Aiden, just, Aiden, 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 just Aiden, just Aiden, that's five Aiden. questions, I think. Yeah, no, which is an interesting point. Then, so I was hoping to ask a follow-up on it. Just has that changed with you? How you think then? So like, not wanting to make happiness yet, happiness of football or outside of it. Uh, it's tough. It's a tough question, to be honest with you. Um, as you say, it's hard. It's hard to be happy when you're not playing all the time. But you have to sort of. I don't know, detach yourself from football at times. Thank you. And thank you. We spoke to Darren O'Shea earlier on about his situation that there was a style where he wasn't even on the, the bench. It's not just he was dropped, he, he was stopped in the squad. He said that was the hardest point. Do you find that as well? Because some weeks you know, on the bench, yeah. the next week you're not going that, that must be yeah. difficult. Yeah, it's a little bit up and down, but it's obviously it's, it's character building. It's it's where you get um, your determination and stuff. So like, I've been through this before and I'll get through it again. Even with the Champions League, it's a stage that every player wants to, to play on and because of injuries and, and then on selection. It must be, again, you're, you're looking, you're trying to get on the Champions League, but it just hasn't, hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's not happened yet. Um, hopefully it does. I mean, a big dream of mine would, would have been to play in the Champions League for Celtic. Uh, sort of what I wanted to do <clears> when I was a boy. Um, so hopefully it happens. But if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Did it? Yeah, Mikey, um, just looking up here, you played under Austin. <clears throat> I was going to get it wrong. And Paul, uh, he played on Rivers Celtic. Yeah. Uh, two years ago. Yeah. He played. He played a very good game. Nearly twenty matches. I think mm -hmm. he did injuries for the end of the season. Mm -hmm. How did you find playing under him? And just what do you think of what he's doing in Spurs now? That's not surprised. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I think we knew 
right away that he was he was a top manager and he implemented his style of play uh, right away and he didn't change and I think that's exactly what he's doing at Spurs and sometimes people criticise that but that's that's what he's going to do and I think it'll I think it'll pay off for him. How was he with you? It was good. It was really good actually. I played a lot of games up until maybe January and I got I got an injury like first game in January I think and then. I uh, didn't really play much after that. I was maybe out for three months and then it was sort of tough to force your way back into the team after that, isn't yeah. it? But did he, did, he, did, he, did he encourage your type of play? Did yeah, he, definitely. Did definitely. I, I felt as if I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was playing. That's one Yeah, who would you say the best player that you've ever played with at Celtic? Celtic? That's a tough question. That's a really tough question. I don't want to leave boys out and stuff, so I don't or know if I can answer that. one or two that you... Has really impressed your big leaders in the team? Um, right now, obviously, you've got there's so many players. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about right now. There's, there's obviously you've got Cal McGregor, you've got Matt O'Reilly, players like that are, are top, and obviously the boys that have moved on, boys like Jota. There's so many players, you, you can't name one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's dead. Yeah, but still have loads of cousins and aunties and stuff. My mum my, my was over visiting like last month, actually. I don't know how to like the movie, mate. Oh, they're all happy. They're all happy. Thanks, guys. Thank you.